Um, I want to be very clear, even as an insurance agent, as much as I love talking about IBC and selling it and showing people how they can start it, it's not the end all be all strategy, IBC, right? It's simply a tool, but it's not the tool that will make you loads of money, right? So you don't want to look at IBC as this is my wealth strategy and I don't need to do anything else in my life but have IBC. No, IBC is the tool that allows you to position yourself to 10x. So it's not that you're making a whole bunch of money inside the policy itself, it's that you're allowing yourself the ability to borrow this money at 0%, have no borrowing costs, have all the leverage, the death benefit, the tax-free growth, but then what you do with the money is everything. So taking that money and then 10xing it, throwing it real estate, uh, starting a network marketing business, uh, starting your own business, sales, like what you do with that money is everything. And then when it comes back, you have a place to store all that profit. You have a place to store it, tax-free, which you just rinse and repeat. Take the money right back out, 10x it again, bring it back, store the money. When you reach a point where you've got so much coming in and you can't store it anymore in those policies, then we say, yeah, let's open up a new one that has a bigger mech and I have the capability to continue to fund that even without borrowing money, that I can continue to fund it, right? Because I have all this awesome cash flow coming in for a longer period of time, right? Because you don't want to just have little policy, little policy, little. You want to go from a little to a big. And now that you're at big, now it's gonna now it's gonna be harder to 10x that number, right? And then when you 10x that number, you create a bigger number, but for a longer funding period. This way, you never have to open up another policy again, right? You know, I don't want to have uh, you thinking, yeah, let's, you know, let's open up a policy every four or five years. No, uh, that's called the ladder method. And some agents talk about that. And I myself will not preach about that, nor will you see Steve Parisi, my mentor, preaching about that. He's more so on the lines of what if I had a policy that allowed me to fund every single one of those policies combined? And all I did was work my way up to it. And that, that's a very simple way to do that because I can just enlarge the mech, right? For a longer funding period so that I can continue to fund the same policy and have the same premium costs at that young age that you were at. Because anything can happen to you. Your health could change, right? Um, and then you get older, insurance gets more expensive. So we try to lock in a good price now with the ability to overfund for a long period of time, get the results that we want. That's my spiel. Um, let's see. Gotcha. No more policies. Do you have any resource for me to educate myself on the land opportunities you just mentioned? Um, honestly, the only guy I follow when it comes to real estate is Grant Cardone. Um, there's a there's an educational company called Renatus. I went through their education. I have a lifetime uh, access to, to their education. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's about it. And then I have clients that like do real estate and have knowledge. So it's kind of like you have to find who you like rub shoulders with, who you connect with, and then say, okay, that strategy is for me. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I honestly would just focus on 10 xing activity income first, then throw everything into passive. And then we go from there, all right? So I hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless, and we'll see you soon. <music>